Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. It's not lying if I didn't tell you. Six months ago 35M my 35F girlfriend had a series of blackout drunken nights when on a business trip with all but one female the rest male co-workers. All new acquaintances, trickle truth everything but sex and then kept in contact, went to special new group meetings, act with these guys, and one girl, which turned me into a jealous, insecure, self-proclaimed chump. Then the lockdown hit as I was debating moving on. Things got better, actually until today. She ignored my calls and left my messages on read, what happened six months ago, only one hour later to call me back saying she was picking up some free stuff off dot of next door, cat scratcher and a baby crib for her brother. She sounded weird. I felt in my gut something was up. I asked her anything eventful happen at or after work, nothing. She gets food, we eat, she's acting strange. Wants to get intimate after. I say I'm too full but really felt weird. She goes to the bathroom. I check her phone. I know self-proclaimed chump here. I see a text from her female co-worker, the same one that admitted to doing blow and hooking up with random guys on that trip six months ago, asking, who is the new guy she is walking with? Then I see a call to a wings shop after her shift is up. I calmly ask her about all this. She gets super defensive, yelling about me looking at her phone act. I remain calm and ask again. Then admits she had a few drinks after work with a bunch of guys from work. First she says she didn't want to tell me because she knew I would get mad, then why do it? Second I say I'm not mad about you drinking I'm mad that you lied. She says it's not a lie if I don't tell you, and I was gonna tell you after we had sex, I just didn't want to ruin the night. First time I've politely refused sex in a long time. I didn't get mad. But I am. We haven't even gone out since the pandemic was lifted. Also, I was home waiting for her had a fun agenda planned which obviously included intimacy. I know I'm wrong for snooping. But my gut told me to. This is the same gut feeling I had when she was out of state and went no contact while blacked out drunk. I told her I didn't feel like drinking or getting into me tonight she fell asleep giving guilt trips and angry words. Somehow I kept my cool, while admittedly I'm duckling pissed. First she says she didn't want to tell me because she knew I would get mad, then why do it? If she is not willing to tell you about having a few drinks after work with co-workers, imagine what else she is not willing to tell you. This. Lying by omission is still lying. Right? Thank you. There's a thing called lying by omission. That's what this was. If it's so innocent, she would have said something before going to let you know she'd be later, not only confess after getting caught. What else is she not lying about? Okay. Already if she's at the point of I didn't want to tell you BC you'd get mad, that's already a huge red flag because clearly she was doing something you wouldn't be happy with, and she made a conscious choice to still do it. Also, she would not be getting all defensive if she was innocent. There's more to this than she is telling you. Am I the only one thinking if she has blackout nights and probably sex with some of her co-workers that I wouldn't be okay with what happened six months ago either? Yeah you are not wrong here. Hence the self-proclaimed chump note. Ending a five-year relationship where we had marriage plans, basically engaged had plans to propose on our Maui trip that got cancelled due to the epidemic, and two years of high school history on a gut feeling was hard for me to do. I was on the verge and seriously considered it. I had no actual proof of anything. She admitted to dancing, letting guys buy her drinks, saw videos of her cheering on these different guys as they rode a bull all sexually who work it baby yeah, but no evidence of cheating. I had never been insecure or worried before, she had gone on similar trips and kept some contact with me never felt insecure before then. Also the dog, the cat, the apartment, her family, my family. Oof. 
she is not ready to a serious relationship. 3 Dude, better end things with someone that lie to your face now than find out 10 years later and kids that she was fooling around with a co-work if she isn't doing it now. You should be pissed. A lie by mission is still a lie. That whole I was going to tell you after sex thing is plain manipulative. I'd be furious and she would not be sleeping in the bed for a while. Should have listened to Reddit of 2019. You guys were right. I have changed for the worse now. Rant. I posted a lengthy description about my fiance going on a work trip with blackout boozed nights and 99% of redditors told me to leave her. I didn't. Now she is pregnant with what appears to be my future son and finally admitted she made out with him and went back to his room, but he couldn't get hard obviously don't believe this. I'm sure it was more than that. I am a wreck. Two years of lying to my face and now that she's pregnant she finally told me the truth, that I in fact was right. Not an insecure, jealous, weirdo after all. Just an honest guy who knows how men operate. He is married with a daughter. I can't focus on anything anymore. I'm sick to my stomach all day every day. Now what? Couldn't get hard? Don't buy that bullshit. She is telling you because Terry's more than a chance it's not your child. 99% of people commenting on the last post told you she was cheating, and to leave her. I'm sure the same percentage on this post will be saying that isn't your kid she's pregnant with. Op do not make the same mistake by ignoring the advice here. End the relationship and demand a DNA test, one can be taken before the baby is born must be kind. Bite tongue. Right, she's lying about that for even more dubious reasons than just hiding an affair. She's telling him that because she knows he might be soft enough to stick around and raise another man's kid. And saying he couldn't get hard is something she think he'll buy. Hope he doesn't fall for it. He needs to say DNA test to her face as soon as possible. Couldn't get hard? Op, this is bad either way. I'm not quite sure how she thinks that it's not a problem because he couldn't get hard. Before I say anything I do apologize for this somewhat descriptive language. The intention is not to make you feel worse. The intention is to propose a different point of view. First of all I don't believe her lame excuse that he couldn't get hard. Even if we assume for a minute that is the truth and that he couldn't get hard, how did they really find that out? I'm sure they got rid of all their cloths, got their hands on each other and then she must have tried her best to get it hard. I'm sure you'd know what she would do to try to get him hard. So, even if he couldn't get it hard I don't think it is for lack of her trying. So, in short I think a whole lot of boundaries were crossed that now can't be uncrossed. Child support is always cheaper than half of your assets, and spousal support on top of child support. Don't marry this woman. Love your kid as a co-parent. Personally I would have asked for a DNA test after she half-truthed cheating. Since you are not married tell his wife, and report them to HR. It's very likely that it's not your child. Get a DNA test as soon as you can. Break off the engagement. There's nothing else to think about. Or are you ready for round 3 and bringing a child in the middle of that loveless mess? It's time to go. This basically means she is trying to trap you with the kid. But she didn't. You can be a great dad from a distance. Don't raise a kid with a human being like that. Healthy co-parenting will be far more healthy for a child than growing up in a household like that where the mother is cheating repeatedly. Also, is there a reason she decided to tell you after she was pregnant? Any reason to pull that house down on your head? She sounds a bit sadistic, too. Also think about the fact that she had sex with a married man, don't believe her for a minute that he couldn't get it up like no, no no, that's a lie. That says a lot about how she feels about marriage. She has no respect for it, whether it's her own marriage or someone else's. Do not sign papers with this human being. You will quickly regret it, and so will a child growing up in a mess like that. Tell her you're going to want a DNA test and a long time alone to think. A long time. 
It also sounds like she lied to you and emotionally abused you for years by guilt tripping you for knowing the truth. Lots of issues there. This isn't someone to have a marriage with. It's always he couldn't get hard or we just kissed or we stopped when things got serious or I never went down on him slash her or something along those lines. We've seen it all. Up don't fall for that BS. Abusers, and there is all kinds of abuse, do this every single time. Once they are married he starts mentally, physically abusing her. Or she gets pregnant and knows you won't leave her, so here's little bit of trickle truthing. Once she's secured you are staying she will tell you more. I am so sorry that you are going through this. But you know what you need to do now. Your child, if it's yours, you need to DNA test it, is going to be much happier with two separated happy parents, than with the miserable parent. Don't do that to your kid or yourself. Do you really want to live a life with a knot in your stomach for the rest of your life? And have that niggling feeling in the back of your mind? You are too young to live like that for the next 18 or so years. Good luck. Hugs. Dude. WTF are you still doing with this woman? Who cares if she's pregnant? It's probably not yours. If it is, then who cares? You can still be a good father and not be with this narcissist. If you don't bounce, you'll be back here in another year and no one will feel any sympathy for you. Look after you and get away from all this junior high drama. Paternity test will be complicated until the kid is born. That's the rub. You can do nothing for a potential future child and then be looked at like a deadbeat. Once born it's easy, a simple cheek swab kit can prove it all. I had to do all this because my now ex I found had cheated multiple times and had a miscarriage, definitely not mine since I was out of the country for that period, then got pregnant right away. My test came back like 99.999% my child. I stuck it out and still deal with the BS since despite her cheating and even after our separation bringing my daughter to hotel rooms with her gay best friend that I found video, pics and text that he is at best bisexual she still gets 50-50 custody. She had me arrested twice and almost a third time after I found out and said I would not give up my daughter. So be careful. I am now dealing with my ex and her three adult kids all from different dads living in my house that I cannot access for the last two years. Covid turned everything upside down. I had to start over and now am renting a, nice, apartment. A two year marriage with a cheater cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah my ex cheated with a married guy as well. My co-worker no less, and we both knew the spouse. It's utterly humiliating even though I didn't do anything wrong. After my nightmare with the ex-wife, I'd never in a million years date someone who knowingly cheated with anyone, either. It's got red flags all over it, just for different reasons. My ex cheated in her first marriage, too. And has a history of also cheating with other people, she wasn't proud of it she said. But yeah, yeah she was. It's all about thinking the world belongs to them. If they want it, they can have it, and they don't care who they hurt. She had no remorse whatsoever for cheating on or with anyone. There was always a reason. True story, when she cheated with someone. She said it was because it was a dark time in her life and she was lost, but when someone else cheated with her, she called them a home wrecker. Not kidding here, she viewed their cheating with her as home wrecking, but her cheating with someone else's partner was a cry for help. Cheating with someone who's married especially shows that they don't respect relationships and view them as optional depending on their needs. Time to bring her to the doctor to do the test to see if the baby is yours. Hope you are listening now. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 